Hey cats, it's Ed, Turbo Man Bud here. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a Christmas miracle and we are not even into the 12 days of Christmas yet. Just when I'd given up all the hope of there ever being a Pegasus Turbo sequel, Nike announce it. Thanks for joining us here on the channel guys, it's always appreciated. And to that person out there that doesn't like me using the term earth credits, earth credits, earth credits, earth credits, earth credits, yes, I'll keep using it, I don't care. If you wanna help the channel out, hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when I roll out those new videos for you. And the person that always tells me to me like all the other channels, now it's not gonna happen, sorry. See ya, don't need ya. With some news that's sure to put a smile onto a lot of runners' faces, Nike have announced, or by means of a leak at least, that there's gonna be a new Pegasus Turbo. It's coming back sort of. So images leaked of a potential Pegasus Turbo third iteration here, though it's not as close to the Pegasus Turbo that we all know. You've got the next nature stamp on this one and that's going to upset a few people. Not that I'm against saving the planet, of course I want to be here and I want it to be here for generations to come. But recycling is certainly at the heart of this new version of the Pegasus Turbo, in the upper, midsole and the outsole. Long term viewers of the channel will know how much I've enjoyed the Pegasus Turbo shoes so far, the original and the Pegasus Turbo 2 here. This was great in terms of weight and the cushion that it offered but you could also use it for racing as well. On this new version, we'll see a flying it upper, which Nike suggests will be created using their most sustainable yarn available. Yarn collected by specially trained mice. That's not ready. And you've got more recycled yarn making up the swoosh on the lateral side of the shoe. I'm very interested by those cable-like structures around the shoe, seemingly to give some rigidity to the upper, but also provide that lockdown over the top of the foot. I have to say though, it does look very similar to the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel 1, doesn't it? Very close, I think you'll agree. More recycled content, even in the laces, apparently. They've recycled the laces. Does that mean they've just got laces from old pairs and stuck them in here, maybe washed them a little bit? Who knows? I'd like to think that that's what's happening here, that they're just getting bits from other places. Selling them on to the user as a new shoe. That's all right, as long as it works. I think the presence of those cables there around the shoe eliminate the need for a midfoot wrap or cage system. Should cut down on the weight a little bit too. The midsole here is certainly a step forward from the original version of the Pegasus Turbo. I have a very odd feeling here that the Pegasus Turbos that have been sent back over the last few years will probably have ended up in the midsole here. I reckon they've ground up the Zoom X that was in those. You know, a lot of people got that separating problem at the very heel end of the shoe, just there where the React and the Zoom X used to split on some people's pairs. These are just fine. You appear to have a layer of fresh Zoom X on top of Zoom X pieces that have been mashed together. You've got a further carrier foam here of that SRO2 stuff that we saw in the Vomero 16. That's gonna give some shape to the heel section of the shoe, but also add a bottom layer underneath that crushed up Zoom X. I predicted as much in my running shoe predictions for 2022 video a few weeks back. So a bit of a Vomero 16 style midsole setup, certainly heavier in the Zoom X usage though, which is only gonna add to the cushioned comfort and propulsive qualities of this new version of the Pegasus Turbo. The midsole foam here doesn't half look like a Saucony Power Run PB type foam. Maybe Nike has realized that crushing the foam up into pieces here might improve the durability, perhaps the longevity of the foam. My only worry here is that of the AlphaFly Next% Percent Nature midsole and the increased weight that we saw there. All those Zoom X scraps were kind of glued together. You can even see big droplets of glue around the edge of the foam. It appeared to make the shoe quite a bit heavier, so let's hope that that doesn't happen here in the new version of the Pegasus Turbo. That's kind of what made the Pegasus Turbo so attractive in the first place, was that nice and light and nimble feel. No images of the outsole thus far. But Nike does suggest a waffle-like tread, perhaps, in the mold of the original Turbos. Again, this rubber will feature recycled materials. So I wonder if they're just using old Pegasus Turbo outsoles. Who knows? I always thought the protrusions on some of Nike's waffle outsoles acted a bit like a piston. They just compress a little bit and give an extra little bit of a pop. A little bit more oomph, you could say. And Nike themselves have confirmed this here on this leaked image. I do find it a little strange that these images have leaked out. Maybe a coincidence even, after all those other manufacturers had wet our appetites 
with those new shoes recently at that running event. How strange. Hmm. It's almost like they did it deliberately. Maybe. I'm certainly getting more daily trainer vibes here about this new version of the Pegasus Turbo. They've got rid of the React, so now we've got two layers of Zoom X. One fresh, one that scrap stuff. And then of course the introduction of another foam, which is quite soft, it has to be said. Could be masses of versatility about this shoe. Very usable perhaps for a variety of different purposes. So with the updates and the changes here, is this still a Pegasus Turbo? The SR02 foam that I have tested out in the Vomero 16 is quite soft in itself, nowhere near as firm as the React material we had in the original versions of the shoe. There's a very different upper here as well compared to the Pegasus 35 Turbo or the Turbo 2. No fly wires, many runners really enjoyed those in the Peg 35 Turbo. I know Kev Burton's going to be ridiculously excited about this news. I hope this has made your day, Kev. For me, this one looks like a Pegasus Turbo, certainly in name perhaps in lineage though closer to the Pegasus Turbo 2 than the original. With the advent of lots of Nike shoes utilising this scrap Zoom X material, it makes me wonder whether we'll see it in some other running shoes in 2022. Perhaps they'll implement it into the Invincible run to provide a little bit more stability there, but still with the super cushioning, perhaps some of the other models that utilise React will be pushed to the side and they'll utilise this type of crushed foam in those as well. Nike don't seem that bothered in using a nitro type process in any of their foams. There's a distinct focus here I think on durability and longevity. Just trying to make the Zoom X material that everybody likes last that little bit longer. Let's not forget that when Nike get a good idea and people enjoy it, they just milk it for all it's worth. I mean, look at Zoom Air. Those air units have been around for donkey's years now. Are you interested in this forthcoming shoe, the Pegasus Turbo Next Nature? Who knows what price Nike are going to slap on this one? I reckon it could be quite considerable. I mean, the original Pegasus Turbo was pretty pricey when it launched back in 2018. I think it was about $180, so you're going to have to get saving, guys. I think we're going to see a similar price, perhaps, for this new version of the shoe. What say you, my valued viewers? Give me your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. A quick musical interlude for you. Again, this is a Christmas-based one. Call me soppy, but I absolutely love the soundtrack to The Snowman and The Snow Dog. I think Razor Light's Andy Burroughs was involved in the production of some of the music here. There's some absolute highlights here. Best obviously watched with the actual pictures in front of you. Like the Night and the final track, Goodbye, are, yeah, ones that really stir emotion in me. I just feel a bit emotional thinking about it right now. The intro where obviously the boy moves into the new house and sadly the old dog passes away, which is really, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to take a second there. It's really sad. If anyone's ever lost an animal, boy, it's tough. Like the Night's a beautiful song. It really just has these wonderful dynamics in it up and down you feel like you're flying through the air with the snowman a really quite wonderful feeling very close to what i get from running actually when you're out there and flying through the air it does feel a little like that can't believe that it was 10 years ago this came out do go and check it out if you've never seen the snowman and the snow dog make sure you have some tissues that's all i'm gonna say because it's it's sad it really is okay i'm not going to talk about it anymore it's too much thanks for watching through to the very end of today's video guys it's always appreciated help the channel out by grabbing some edbud merch from the links below you can also click that subscribe button and the bell below for notifications when we roll out those new videos for you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies my name's edbud and i'll be seeing you